Hammer Hill has been called the world's most controversial school. It's a place where pupil power reigns. Lessons are optional and children make up the rules. These images, shot in 1985 by former student Quincy Russell, show how children experienced what was, and still is, considered a radical approach to education. Now living in France with two children of his own, Jake and Maïlis, who also went to Summer Hill, he admits sending them to school overseas was heartbreaking, but he didn't want to deny them the experience he had. I knew what they were going to. I knew where they were going. I, I'd lived through it and I thought, well, who are you to, to refuse to give them that kind of beautiful education of respect and listening and, and love and trust and community? Pupils in Summer Hill are aged 6 to 18. Creative arts have the same status as academic subjects. With lessons optional, Quincy, Mylis and Jake all remember how they naturally developed a love of learning, from biology to English and woodcraft. Another standout feature of Summer Hill was its principle of democracy, putting students and teachers on an equal footing. The rules at school were set in weekly meetings where adults and children's votes carried the same weight. In Summer Hill, I don't see the difference between uh, adults and, and students. We are just the same, they're like friends. You have to respect everyone the same. So um, if you shout at a teacher or shout at another student, it's exactly the same. There's no difference. They have the same power in the meeting, they have the same power anywhere. Free choice and democracy define Summer Hill and place the child at the center of learning. Though the school has been threatened with closure, a recent inspection found its methods outstanding, especially in terms of spiritual and moral learning. I didn't learn how, you know, what, what, what country went where, uh, what, you know, big war did what, you know. Um, but I did learn how to make a choice and want to, you know, want to do stuff and want what I want to do, you know, listening to myself and listening to what I want to do. Summer Hill's founder, Alexander Sutherland Neal, once said he'd rather see the school produce a happy street sweeper than an erotic prime minister. <laughs>